Shrimps and double heads. Ollie, you've really got to record this intro for this collab. Uh, I'm her. Na 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 da da da. Cambridge is here. Na 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 da. London's here. We're going down there. Yeah. London. It's your show. People want to see you. Welcome to the world of Pint Size. My name's Ollie, and today we've got a very special collaboration episode. I've come down to London with Julie from Feeling Peckish, and I'm going to show her some of my favourite spots in London to get a decent pint. So before we get going, Julie, just tell them a little bit about your channel, Feeling Peckish. Oh, <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, so I'm from Canada, and I do a show every week, and it's uh, recipes inspired by movies. So I do a little parody of the movie, and then I do a fun little recipe. At least I think it's fun. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, I think it's fun. What's, <laughs> you your, favorite, what's your favorite movie? Uh, oh, uh, mm -hmm. that's a tough question. That was a silly oh, question oh, to ask me. What's oh, my so favorite sorry. movie? Uh, right now, I just saw Mad Max, and I am oh, really? in love. I love it. With yeah. Max. Have you seen it? No. Oh, great. I've well, seen... We have nothing to talk about now. I've seen Mad Men. Okay, that's not the same. Is Mad Max about one of the men? Not even a little no. bit. Nope. Uh. So let's go. First stop, The Eagle in Clerkenwell. Okay, we've come down to the Eagle in Farringdon. They do amazing steak sandwiches and brilliant beer. Let's check it out. Okay, so we're here at the Eagle in Farringdon. As I said, they do amazing steak sandwiches. They're just setting up for the lunchtime rush, but they let us in to have a few pints. <laughs> okay, so we've got a half, she insisted on getting a half, of the Hackney Brewery's Golden Ale. I want us to start off, you know, easy. I don't want to get too carried away. Mm. No, it's, it's an ale. Okay, so I just had to explain that because it's an ale, it's not actually carbonated. Still, ales are still and usually warm. I was, I was gonna say, this is. <laughs> this is warm. We should take this back. <laughs> it's delicious though. I haven't even started. So, as you'd expect from a gold nail, which is still and warm. What? It's uh, it's grassy, a little bit floral, just quite nice, subtle, spicy sweetness. It's just a lovely golden ale to kick off the day. It's not gonna it's not gonna win any awards. Is that what you mean? And no, it's not. No, because it's like it's like a, your comfort. It's yeah. a comfort zone. It's a comfort zone beer. Um, can I just say, uh, I didn't realize that they should be still and warm. This is like juice. Yeah. This is gonna go down so fast because yeah. I don't have the bite of carbonation and burps. The bite of carbonation and burps. I, I drink Coors Light. Um, <laughs> Ah, oh, it tastes like cat pee, and I love it. I love it with a little wedge of lime. I love that. A little wedge of lime. You summed up very perfectly. Uh, nice comfort zone, gold nail, in a beautiful surrounding. In a nice little pub.
Okay, so next up we're here at the Craft Beer Company in Clerkenwell. It's one of the best selections of craft beer here in London. Let's check it out. Okay, first up, from the Milk Street Brewery in Froome, we've got their Amarillo. It says it's herbal, hoppy, and made with Texas hops, which is quite interesting. It, it, yeah, it is. Oh, I've got a fun fact while you're tasting wine. Um, so I asked the woman behind the bar, um, you know, what beers might be nice. It's very herby. I'm getting a bit of burnt, burnt flavor from it, but maybe a bit of ashy. There's a fruit in there. I think it may be orange. That orange spicy quite mm. yeah oh, it's so refreshing but so deep in its flavor as well yeah. it's really fulfilling I'm so happy right now it's good it's good there's nothing um, unpleasant or no. sometimes I find that beers have um, a very taste. yeah a very aggressive aftertaste yeah. and yeah. that's I mean, that's kind of the price you pay if you want something Especially, with uh, a jolt of flavour at the beginning. Okay, so next up from the Siren Craft Brewery in Berkshire, we've got a Summer Spreeze. Uh, it's apparently a coffee and jasmine green tea pale ale. What? Mm. <laughs> it smells it's, herby, really floral and sweet. It's very coffee and it's very green tea. -y. Oh. And it's right just trapped in my tongue. Oh, that's not. It's good for someone. Someone would like that. Oh, and that says like meat. <laughs> yeah. I don't like that. It's, it's okay. It's okay. I'm an optimist, and I love the I love the smell. It smells great. Instant taste is great, and then it's this dry, bitter coffee. It's like tanniny, drying mouth. You know what it's like? It's like when you leave the coffee pot there for 12 oh. hours or 16 hours and it's just this bitter, yeah. like stale coffee. And you try and put sugar in it to make it better and it just doesn't make it better. And it I think just, it's just trapped in my tongue. Okay, last but not least, we've got Salty Kiss from the Magic Rock Brewery in Yorkshire. This one is a raspberry Gerza, which is the uh, it's a Belgian style of beer where they've mixed a young lambic sour beer with an old one. Oh. It's like a blend. So this could be a sour raspberry beer. Like um like a cab so. I don't know, I guess so. I have no idea. Worst, worst thing you've ever said. <laughs> I'm embarrassed for myself. Oh, you just go one more time there. Mm. It came in a great glass, first off. That's my first notice. Good job. Done. It's what? it's got that mild lambic beer taste with the sudden sour hit. I'm what not really getting um, many raspberries in there. It's a little subtle bit of raspberry. This it's is quite nice. This beer is for me. Okay. Mm. They basically leave the barrels out in the fields just south of Brussels, and there's like natural yeasts in the air and stuff. So they leave it there for eight months to well, like five years. Some old ones. So all the yeast in the air ferments the beer and they just sort of foam out and look super gross. Um, but you do get this sour, really sour taste. It's really... Is this so okay to drink? Like, is this kind yeah, of Yeah, it's fine. Okay, so there we go. Probably uh, three of about, I don't know, 30, 35 30. of the beers that are often here at uh, Craft Beer Company in yeah. Clark and Well. Our last stop is the Jerusalem Tavern. Let's go. <laughs> Actually, we're going to finish our drinks first, but then we'll go. Okay, so here we are, our final stop, the Jerusalem Tavern. It's been here since 1720. It's got a lovely range of beers, and it's really interesting inside as well. Let's check it out. Okay, we're in the Jerusalem Tavern. It serves St. Peter's beers and we've got a half of a ruby red ale. Let's give it a try. Ah, oh, like 
vanillary, biscuity, rich, a bit of some dried fruit, dried orange. It's just warming, it's tasty, it's rich, it's delicious. It's warm, there's no bubbles. Bubble. It's got like a grimy bit of aftertaste. Is that right, that accent? No. Not for anyone. Are you filming right now? Yeah. It tastes chocolatey to me. Yeah. That's all I got out of it. Any vanilla? I guess. Chocolate cake yeah. has vanilla. Yeah, nice. I mean, it's still warm. This is a new thing for yeah. me, so. <laughs> so there you go, a couple of my favourite spots in London. I'm sure I'll be back to try out the rest. Remember to check out Julie's channel. Uh... Feeling Peggy! Yay! And remember to subscribe, like us on Facebook, or slash pint size thinking, and I'll see you next time. Follow him on Snapchat! No, don't do that, no one uses Snapchat. I watch you on Snapchat. <laughs> I watch, I watch, you had the cutest awkward video where you were like, you just started it and then, and then it just like died out. Yeah. I don't know what you started saying and then you were like, uh, I'm not good at this. <laughs> I don't know, what's a really redundant one? That no one uses? Bebo. Did you ever have Bebo? Tumblr. Oh. Do you use Tumblr? Oh, that's me. No, I don't use Tumblr. Is it a lot of people do. Really? Mm. Oh. I think so. Yeah, a lot of people do use Tumblr actually. I, don't, I never get it. I prefer a pint glass myself. Oh, that, that was, was funny. That was a good joke. That was very British yeah. though. Because I, I didn't quite <laughs> like it. <laughs> wow. Amazing. How that. long my arm looks. <laughs> Welcome. Whoa. I wish I had a beer. <laughs> your arm though, your arm is like, and your hand is bigger like than our heads together. <laughs> oh, oh I just, it's just like, ooh, it's squeezy. <laughs> okay, um. <laughs> Nolky.